Hey, what's going on? It's Michael Q, LAU, and welcome to another episode of Teachers After Dark. All right, so I thought I was going to get some training today, but I didn't. I ended up being a little bit late, and what I mean by a little bit late is like 10 minutes late, 12 minutes late max. And usually you get like a 15 minute grace period and before they cancel the class or not cancel the class, but don't allow you to be able to come to the class. So I arrived and this is like five hours later because it's dark time now. But uh, I ended up getting there around, was it 5.40? And I talked to some people that were at the at main screening and they told me that the crew had just left. So I was hoping that they're going to go to the tug lot so I could meet them there and then be able to meet them at the place. But I got to the tug lot and they weren't there. But I talked to a uh, instructor that was there and I was able to get in contact with the instructor for the course that I was in, but he said that because I was late, uh, there's nothing that I could do because they had already been to the game. So unfortunately, I was unable to get that certification, which is going to be, uh, I want to say, uh, it was going to be a wide body. I forgot what type of plane it, it was. It was an Airbus. And yeah, so I have a training that's going to be coming up next week on next Sunday. That's for a triple seven. So hopefully this does not disqualify me from getting a wide, from going to that Sunday class. Otherwise, I will, there'll be two trainers that, or two, uh, yeah, two trainings and certifications that I'll that won't go under my belt, and I have to make them up on another day or week. So we'll see what that looks like. But today we'll see what today brings when night comes. So it's always very important to make sure that you're timely in everything that you do. I usually try and be there like 15 minutes early, but with everything that was going on today with and especially like this weekend with my with mama gun going into the hospital with her emergency and me taking off work and making sure that my wife is okay and you know taking care of my taking care of her her mom kind of neglected some things going into today so it always had to be able to look at something as, you know, cup half full. So I'm thankful that I was able to be there for my wife. So although I didn't get everything that I did to accomplish on this day, I didn't check off all the boxes. The main boxes get taken care of. And I may should have tried to, you know, physically or actually talk to the, to the manager or the instructor just to let them know like everything that was going on and I can actually meet them at the gate since I was only a couple minutes late and the class was gonna be you know, for a three and a half hour session. So, but it's one of those things, hindsight 2020, what can you do? But do better in the future with a better foresight. So, uh, but going into work right now, and just making the most out of the night. So that's about three and a half hours that I will not have on my pay, pay scale or pay, payroll. But hopefully I'll be able to get the Sunday work and I'll be able to get that done, even though it is going to be Mother's Day. And I'll be pretty much working from it's going to be a long class. From the paperwork, it says it's going to be from like 9 in the morning until like 7 at night. So, a lot of hours on that day. So, we'll see. But, about to go ahead and sign off right now.
right here. I just wanted to tap in and give you that little bit of update. And I'll tap in once I get off of work and let you know if I'm able to take the 777 class after I talk to my manager and see how that goes. All right, but until further notice, you all stay perfectly fit and if you're be blessed. Are you tired of being tired of not having enough energy to last you throughout the day? Are you wanted at work, too drained to go to the gym, or too sluggish to play with your kids, and too tired to hang out with your friends and your family? Don't worry, you're not the only one. In fact, one in three Americans struggle with having enough energy to last throughout the day. But there's good news because you can change all that by focusing on your gut health. Did you know that your gut has good and bad microbiomes that grow inside of it? And the more that you feed the good, the healthier and livelier that you feel. When you feed the bad ones over time, you start to feel bad, then sad, and it turns into a fad that you feel like you can't escape. Then it becomes your personality, aka your personal reality, and you feel like you can't escape it, and you accept life as it is, and that it won't change. But that's where you're wrong. You just have to be able to shift your focus. See, most people fall into the trap of the sad diet, or the standard American diet, which focuses on fast food, which is cheap and high in calories, rather than nature's fast food, which are fruits, vegetables, grains, nuts and legumes that help nourish your body so then you can flourish. It's also no mistake that 90% of Americans do not eat enough fruits and vegetables according to the daily recommendations, and that's only five servings a day. What if I told you you can have the equivalent of six superfood salads all in one that's all natural, organic, whole foods? Yes, natural, organic, whole foods. And you can make and consume it in under a minute and it only costs $4 a day. So there's no excuse that you need to shop, chop, and cook your foods because it's delivered at your front door. If this sounds good to you, check the description down below and schedule a 15 minute complimentary call so that you can see how this can be a fit into your lifestyle. So you can change your personal reality and increase your energy, mood, digestion, sleep, and skin, all by focusing on your gut health, which is the cause to all your symptoms. Don't believe me? Just Google gut health blank and you'll find plenty of research articles that find a connection. Back to the video. Alright, what it do is Michael Q, LAU. Welcome to another edition of Teachers After Dark, where I just got work. It's about 4.30. I feel good enough to go work out. So I was, I didn't do my training earlier today, but I was able to get some sleep in. I came in on time and showed up and showed out. So my manager was not here tonight. So I was unable to tell her that I had missed the class. But I did let my colleagues know, the administrator that we have on the team as a team leader, let them know exactly what happened. And I didn't let the other manager that was supervising us know that I had a training. Well, no, I didn't. She knows I had a training coming up, but I don't think I told her that I had missed the class on today. So I'll text my manager and see if I'll still be able to take that class even though I don't. I don't have that certification for that class for the Air Force. But I will end up uh, going and taking a 777 class on Sunday. But I'll let my manager know that it, it was ex my manager able to still take that class even though I didn't take the other class, the Air Force class. So hopefully I will be able to and just go from there. But until then, I will, I'll be stress free and worry free. Now, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, there's a lot of bumps. I'm not gonna lie, there's a lot of bumps. But I was disappointed that I didn't make the make the class because it was something that I really intended on doing and just making. And if I would have knocked out this one and then the next one and then the one right after that, I would be pretty much all the way certified on all the type, different types of planes. So then I could just move forward in this process of being. What is that? It's my first time seeing that type of uh, shop or the type of restaurant that was right there. Or store, I should say. Interesting. It's, it's like fascinating how many times you can go through the same street and then, and yet, you can find something new. And a lot of times, and that's really just in life, 
when you're really that in the present moment, you just go from point A to point Z, and you're not thinking about, you know, exactly where you are in the present. You can get lost in the world that you are. But then when you take a time and just start looking a little bit deeper and just look into the nuances of the different things that you're that are around you, you really get more of an appreciation. You get to see different things that you never saw before. Now, life is really about perspective. It's about the angle that you take and the way that you see things. And depending on your angle, you're going to see things in a, in a different manner. So it's all about angling the light in the best uh, situation so that you can see it for what it actually is. All right, that's enough of that tangent. But going back to what I was saying, if I would have had all of these, I, all of, my, of these certifications were duck and grow, so I would have been fully certified so I could just go and take care of everything that I need to take care of and not worry about doing any kind of training over the summertime. To learn more information about PRM and the family of products, check out the description down below to set up a 15 minute complimentary call. And you can also check out the website. You're just one click away for a better life. Your health is too important to continue to push it off. Go ahead and check out the website and see if a product fits you. So I'll let my manager know and see what she says and go from there. That's all that I can do. But I was bogged down that I didn't make this train. And it gets to the point to where I started having like a rush of like negative thoughts and I started thinking about all of the good things that occurred throughout the day and all of the things that I was able to accomplish and get those negative thoughts still kept ruminating inside of my head. That's the word, ruminating. And they kept on getting louder and louder and more boisterous. And so what I had to do to calm the voices there in my head was to speak out loud to combat that, to combat that. So sometimes you can have silent voices to you know, put yourself in a better mood. But if you have a negative thoughts, you can just use your vocal thoughts, which are words, to be able to suppress them and be able to weed them out, eliminate them just by over by sheer force. So the affirmation that I kept on telling myself over and over again is, Everything I touch is a success. Everything I touch is a success. Everything I touch is a success. And I repeated that over and over again. And it was like over 600 times. Cause I usually time myself. I do it for like 35 minutes. And I can get, I can say it four times in 10 seconds. Times that by six, it's gonna give you 60 seconds. But four times six is 24. So if I say it, Over the course of four minutes, that's gonna be 100. And I do it over the course of 35, so 35 divided by four is somewhere around six, nine, somewhere around nine. So I'm gonna say 